country is this the national anthem of? Do you know? This country won the Eurovision Song Contest in 2005 with uh, this song, which you'll notice rhymes delicious with capricious. You're my lover, and the cover. You're my sacred passion, and I have no other. Of course, about Greece, which joined the European Union in 1981 and adopted the euro in 2001. Greece has the highest unemployment rate in the European Union and holds the record for the highest rate at 26.4%. Only about 170 of more than 2,000 Greek islands are inhabited. And I can also tell you the first nude scene in European cinema history was in a Greek movie. Let's talk about the politics with Yanis Good Sumitis, political and European affairs analyst based in Athens. Uh, Yanis, thanks so much for, for joining us. Um, everybody knows the, the problems that the Greek economy has been through in recent years and the, and the EU's role in that. I wonder uh, about the political debate in Greece mm -hmm. about the EU. Yes, exactly. Well, uh, there have been hard years for the Greek citizens and the Greek taxpayers. There's been harsh austerity and fiscal rearrangement uh, for the previous 10 years in a row. So the Greek citizens are looking for what the future lies ahead for them. Uh, the two main parties, the radical left Syriza and the conservative liberal New, New Democracy, New Democratia, uh, are uh, promising uh, tax cuts. And uh, we can imagine a radical left party promising tax cuts, but this is the fact that after so many years of tax rises, the, the citizens need some uh, fresh air for the economy to grow again. So uh, the agendas of the two main parties for the upcoming elections are uh, very pro-EU. Uh, even the radical left uh, are uh, in favor uh, of uh, consolidation of Greek finances uh, according to the Eurozone rules. And also the Liberal Conservative Party is sticking to the promises that the Greek government gave to the Eurozone uh, countries in uh, recent years. So uh, it's the, the, the Eurosceptic parties uh, are not polling very high, uh, especially in the previous years, in 2014, they had a very strong presence in the European elections, but uh, I don't see that happening again this year. Is anyone talking about Grexit? Well, not anymore. And uh, I should say that uh, Mr. Tsipras, as the Prime Minister, also mentioned Brexit some uh, days ago uh, when uh, the, the British Parliament for, uh, for another time failed to reach an agreement on the Brexit terms. And they said, look what's happening to the British right now. Uh, so we did the best thing in 2015 when we compromised with the European partners and stayed in the EU. So the idea of leaving is just not on the political agenda. That's very interesting. Yes, exactly. What is uh, on the Greek uh, uh, party's agenda is how to offset the, the very high burden of the debt and the taxes for the coming years and how to make the economy grow again and which model uh, of economic growth uh, should we adapt? Should we go for a more uh, socialist or social democratic way of uh, protective economy or more liberal open borders and uh, new incentives for the people to, to have new jobs and grow again. And Yanis, after the, the eye-wateringly bad state of the, the Greek economy, how are things now? Well, uh, it's been uh, slightly better. There is uh, some nominal growth of uh, about 2% of GDP, uh, which sounds big for Eurozone standards, but the, the, the growth is not visible to the, to the citizens. So there is big resentment right now because the government is trying to convince the citizens that, uh, you know, look, we're, we're growing again, but people don't see that in their pockets. Uh, so there needs to be more efforts uh, to have the growth, the effects of growth, come to the everyday people. Yeah, it's very good to hear from you. Thank you for all of that. Thank, thank uh, you for having me. Is political and European affairs analyst based in Athens.